Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGJim007, and today we're looking at the Hollow Mob Health plugin. So, as you can see in front of us, it adds holographic displays above each mob in order to show their health. Now, it's really cool because it shows 10 out of 10 for this cow at the moment, but if we hit him, it turns red and shows 3 out of 10. And then if we go over to this horse and give him a couple of whacks, he is going to go to 10 out of 15 and it will show as yellow. So depending on the percentage they have left, it's going to go from green to yellow to red. And as you can see, it disappears after about 15 blocks. And then if you get closer, it will appear again. So you can see this is a really awesome plugin. It is client side only, so it won't affect any other plugins that you have. Let's go ahead and go into the config file and see how we can edit it. So here we are in the SMPicnic control panel and as you can see there's a config.yml and a database. So let's have a look at the config. So what we're going to see in here is a variety of things. So up at the top we've got the display. So this is what we saw in game. So it's obviously got the mob type, it's got various different colours, the health and max health. So we can actually change this to hearts if we want to. So the way we do that is we will select it all. And then what we want to do is put in scaled symbols in curly brackets. And what that is going to do is show hearts instead of text. Then we've got the dynamic color settings. So this will show green, yellow, and then red, depending on how much health a mob has. Then if we look at the scaled symbol settings, so we've got the scale of 10. And what it's going to do is change from red hearts to yellow and then to gray. So then we've got some more options down here. Do we want it to always be showing, yes or no? What do we want the range to be? So currently it's 15 blocks, so I wouldn't recommend doing too high. And then do we want it to apply to name mobs? Yes or no. And then we've got disabled world, so if you've got maybe a creative world or some other world you don't want it in, you can add it to the list. Do you want certain mobs to be disabled? Yes or no. And then if we scroll down here, we've got some hooks, so it can hook into citizens if you want, into mythic mobs. We've got all of the messages that we're going to see. And then if you have a MySQL database, you can put that in here and you want an auto updater, yes or no. So now that we're back in game, we can go ahead and reload the plugin by doing hollow mob health reload. That's going to reload it. And what we can do now is go find some mobs and see what it looks like. So I'm going to spawn in some creepers and unfortunately they're underground, but you can just about see there are now red hearts. And if we were to hit them, it goes from yellow to gray, indicating how much health they have left. So I think this looks really cool. I'd probably prefer this version over the other one, but that is what you can do. You can just customize it and make it how you want it to look. So here we are on the Spigot page, and as you can see, it is updated to the latest version of Minecraft 1.16. There is a lot of good information and screenshots here showing what you can do with this plugin, and there are the commands. So if you do have any issues with it, feel free to contact the developer. I'm sure they'll be able to help you out. And if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.